I'm Hava, and today we are going on a Christmas tree tour. I'm starting off at Bubble In Sip, which is in the area where I wanted to get a hot chocolate to start this tour off, because what's better than seeing Christmas trees than seeing Christmas trees with hot chocolate? that you have a really great hot chocolate. I came here to try it. We'll go for the small. The small? Did you want to add the marshmallow on that Yes, well? I do. Perfect. I was like, you got to get the full experience. And that's the point. I'm here for the experience. <laughs> and then I'm going to go looking at all the Christmas trees with my hot chocolate. Oh my god, that sounds so Yes, it's, it's, it's a little uh, dream that I created. Yes. Marshmallow. I'm actually the first non-dairy hot chocolate that I've had in New York because I bet most of them are made with whole milk. But even though I requested to make this with oat milk, it's still perfect. It's not too rich, but it's still got that nice creamy hot chocolate feel. So definitely recommending this so far after my first couple sips of the I took, but I haven't tried the marshmallow yet. Hot chocolate places in New York make their, their marshmallows, just so you know. We are on our way to the first Christmas tree location, which I'm not going to tell you all where we're going. It's going to be a surprise throughout this video. But check out just this classic Times Square scene. I mean, Times Square encompasses a large area, and we're at 50th and Broadway. Let's head into the subway so we can shoot up. We're going north for our first location. I wanted to let you know that I asked them on my way out and Bubble and Sip, the people working there said they're pretty sure the marshmallows are homemade and let me tell you, I can tell. Our first location is at Lincoln Center and I want to talk about how this is sort of a special location for me. When I was in high school, the very first time I came to New York City in my whole life was on a trip with the school choir and I did not understand what a big deal it was that I got to sing inside Lincoln Center. I have been in there as a performer. Amazing. And now let's go check out the tree. <laughs> Update, just spoke to some people working here and they said for some reason the tree is not lit tonight. They're not really sure why. He said it was lit last night, but I'll still go up and show you the tree. We are at the bus stop by Lincoln Center now and we are heading to our next location. Thank you. I have a bus to myself? Since when? This stop is Central Park South and Name of the Americans. Our next stop is the Palazzo Hotel, which is known for also having an amazing Christmas tree. And most people don't know that the lobby floor is open to the public. I haven't really tried this myself since 2017, but I'm going to give it a try it right now and see if we can check it out. A caveat, something I wish had been said online, is that it is open to the public after 8 p.m. and before 10 a.m. So that's a little over an hour away. Maybe I will come back, maybe I won't. And I spotted another Christmas tree here that wasn't on my list, but I'm gonna show it to you. I'm not sure who put this Christmas tree up, but it's behind the Apple Store on Fifth Avenue and it's really large and beautiful. It's simple and it's nice. And I just spotted it. So turns out this is Christmas tree number three. And while I'm here, I want to give you a bonus tip about being in New York, whether you live here or if you're visiting and have an issue, this Apple store on Fifth Avenue is open 24 seven. They only close for like emergency weather alerts. I'm pretty sure. I think they're even open on holidays, but definitely 24 seven any other time of the year. I have been at this Apple store before after one in the morning. It was a horrible night, but I'm so glad that they were open. There aren't many subway lines that go cross town, meaning east-west in Manhattan. So I'm actually walking to the next location. And even though the last commute I made was east-west, there happened to be a bus that was going cross town that I decided to take. But this one, we are commuting on foot. 
I'm sorry it's taken this long to see an amazing Christmas tree, but here we are at the Bloomberg Towers, specifically at Beacon Court, and a lot of people do not know about this one. I was gonna take the subway, but I didn't time it quite right. So to wait for the next subway, it would take the exact same amount of time to wait for the next subway, take it one stop and then finish the walk there, or just to walk there. So we are walking to our next location. Currently on Lexington Avenue, and I have to ask, do you think the Chrysler building counts? I mean, the Chrysler building looks kind of like a Christmas tree, doesn't it? And how beautiful is that thing lit up at night? I hope you can see it. It looks way smaller on the camera screen than it does in real life. I'm not that far from it. Most likely some of you watching are going to be more excited about this place than I am. This is the Lot New York Palace, which is the first five-star hotel in New York City's history, but also it is that location you know from Gossip Girl. But I haven't seen Gossip Girl. I don't watch a lot of TV, but if you think I would like this and it's worth my taking the time to watch, please comment below and let me know because I am a little obsessed with New York City, as you know from all this content. Let's see what kind of tree they have here. Amazing. I wonder if this means that there's another Christmas tree, something grand in a courtyard. Let's find out. This may be one of the lesser known Christmas trees, but it is definitely my favorite so far. Not that the expectations are that high so far, but really, I, I love this. And the fact that it's also surrounded by this beautiful atmosphere of the lot or the New York Palace courtyard is so wonderful. So this is going on my favorite list. <laughs> now, the next two Christmas trees that we are gonna see are iconic. They aren't gonna be the end of the great Christmas trees in this video, so make sure you stick around at the end of the video because we've got so many fun Christmas trees coming. And if you feel like you're too busy to finish this video, then at least make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications and like this video on your way out so that you'll be able to see when other fun holiday related or any kind of New York videos come on this channel. to the next tree, but because we walked into the Saks show, I mean, I have to show it to you. I think every 10 minutes depending on the day and time but the show itself I think is only three minutes so the fact that they caught it is really cool onward you know the next tree it is the most famous Christmas tree in New York City and I don't know if I've ever seen it in person which I'm ashamed to say because I did live here last year although I didn't really spend the holidays in New York last year oh my gosh oh my gosh I just caught a glimpse of her yes I have never seen her in person before oh I cannot wait for you to see it you ready for this Okay, we'll walk a few steps further. 
this Christmas tree is iconic, but I will say it's not really a Christmas tree. It is actually lights that are in the shape of a Christmas tree. But I wanted to come and visit anyway because it's so classic. Christmas tree on the top. I just stepped inside the Hilton and realized this is the exact hotel where I stayed on that very first trip to New York that I mentioned earlier in the video. It's so nostalgic. Oh my gosh. I remember eating a bagel at that little place with one of my friends, rehearsing downstairs for that Lincoln Center show, going up the elevator to my room. But I'm not staying here, so let's get out. <laughs> let's go to the next tree. I just found this random tree across from the Hilton, and I thought it was really pretty, so worth sharing. Just for the heck of it, let's take a look inside the Warwick and see if they have a cold tree. Some more very beautiful festive lights on our way back to the plaza. in this long line to get in to see the inside of the plaza, but I figure might as well. I mean, this is what I'm here to do. I just had the most amazing experience at the plaza. Friends, it pays to talk to people and be nice and be interested in other humans because you know what? I started talking to one of the bellmen and we were just like really getting along and he said, you know what, let me show you around. He gave me an unofficial tour. He knows a lot about the plaza and the trivia and it was just so exciting for me as someone who grew up watching Eloise and a couple years ago, I actually saw Home Alone 2 for the first time. You know, the plaza is just iconic. So it was really such a neat experience. And then I met the doorman. He does all kinds of stuff in front of the door and he was really nice. He took some fun photos of me there. And it's just, I love meeting people and getting I got an inside thing. Now I couldn't take any videos in there. That's against the rules, but I did take a bunch of still shots to show you. So I will show you those still shots right now while I am on my way to the next one. Stopper, but it must be because I can see it from the block of where. This is the Christmas tree at Bryant Park because this here is the Bank of America Winter Village. I'll give you a quick 360 shot of this, but truly you're going to want to go ahead and watch the video that I made about the entire experience from ice skating to the shops here on this channel in order to really experience it. to see the Madison Square Park Christmas tree, but you can enjoy this lovely view of the Empire State Building behind me while I explain the significance of the tree in this park that hopefully I'll get to see at some other point. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because it's probably where it'll show up. And also the thing about Madison Square Park is that this is where the first public Christmas tree lighting was in the United States and it was back in 1912. So it's been 110 years. If you are enjoying this Christmas tree tour so far, go ahead and give this video a like to show me that you do. And go ahead and comment down below any other suggestions you have. Now I have saved a couple of really awesome trees for last because we're gonna go out on a high note. And yes, even though Rockefeller was in the middle of the video, there are still some incredible trees for you to see. I read online that Zuccotti Park has a really good Christmas light display. I thought it was gonna be a Christmas tree. Oh, you know what, maybe it is at the end. Let's walk through it. Luckily, these last 
last two spots are really close together because even though it started to get dark at 4.30 today, that's when the sunset was, I mean, it's actually getting kind of late now, hence my head is on because I'm getting chilly. Oh, look at the beautiful Trinity Church behind me. And if you know New York geography, and especially if you know New York Christmas trees, you might even know exactly where we're headed. We are at the New York Stock Exchange, which is on Wall Street, and just look at how beautiful this entrance is. Wait till we go around the corner and you see the New York Stock Exchange lit up and the tree. Well, this is how Wall Street does it. It's been fun commuting in all different ways on this Christmas tree tour subways, different lines, a bus, and of course walking, but this has got to be the most gorgeous view that we've seen all evening. We're along the East River and we are looking at Brooklyn over there. And I, yes, that's the Brooklyn Bridge. This is so cute. It's not the tree I'm looking for yet, but this is a historic cargo ship called the Waver Tree. And look, they made a tree on Waver Tree. Isn't that adorable? In fact, I love the Seaport District, which is where we are right now. So I made a whole video on it that you can check out on this channel. All the videos that I've mentioned that are on this channel that I think you should watch, I will link in the description below if they're not in a pop-up card. But let's see if we can find that amazing final Christmas tree. I knew that Seaport would not disappoint. Just look at this beauty. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, you know, the YouTube drill, but also make sure to follow me on Instagram so that we can connect more on a daily basis. And of course, thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.